welcome back to Homemaking with Heather. I am here today with Casey and we did our Dollar Tree shopping. Now we have two different shopping hauls. We have the Valentine's Day shopping and then we also have another shopping haul because we are going to be sending her friend who lives in Australia a bunch of junk. So he had actually sent her a box full of junk and we'll go ahead and show you what he got her right now. So my daughter's friend from Australia sent us some goodies. Him and his mom. That's the sweetest thing ever. I've never even heard of any of these things. Oh, look at that cereal. How cute. We are definitely going to try these later. Actually, I'll try some right now, but I'm not going to on the camera because I just woke up. Look at these. Crunchies. Interesting. So, since he sent her all this stuff, of course we're going to have to top that. And we will get right into that right after this Valentine's haul. So, I have been looking for Valentine's Day stuff at the Dollar Tree for a few weeks now. And I haven't been able to find anything. So, we just kind of settled with what we got here. But I think we still ended up getting some good stuff. I am going to be doing a collab February 5th with some of the other girls on YouTube here and we're going to be making a Valentine's Day dessert. So this is going to be for that. This is a little heart tray and it has glitter in it. Mm -hmm. You can't see the glitter. The doilies. These are paper doilies, 24 come in this one, and 30 come in the smaller hearts. I saw this kissing booth sign, I thought this was cute. I'm gonna stick it in front of the door so that way every time Savon walks through it, he knows where he needs to go. And I'm going to be doing some low carb desserts for the Valentine's Day collab, but not everybody eats low carb. And these were really fun. I didn't get these at the Dollar Tree though. No. Okay, so I didn't get these at the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to show you guys anyways. We picked these up at Stater Brothers. It's the Funfetti. And this is the frosting. It's pink and it's got heart sprinkles. And this is like a white cake with pink sprinkles on the inside of it. But what we did get at the Dollar Tree was the little cupcake holders. These have little hearts on it and it comes with 75. I'm not going to be making 75 cupcakes, but no. This is a cute little box. We're going to use this on one of the shelves to display. It's a shiny red on the inside. Now these are paper cups. It's pink and it has gold hearts on it. These would be great for candy or little tiny cookies. There's 10 of these in here. So that's a little Valentine's Day mailbox and it has cats and puppies on it. Mm. And yep. an envelope. And apparently gnomes are super big right now. I'm not a huge fan of gnomes, but I could not resist these. I have a gnome with braids. And this sparkly hat and then two more that are opposite in color this this one is kind of like sweater material it's a crocheted fabric and he's pink with little red feet this one's fluffy oh yeah this one his hat is fuzzy 
like a stuffed animal material. And he's got the red feet too. I'm surprised his feet aren't pink, but it works. And Dollar Tree has really stepped it up on their stuffed animals. These are really soft and so cute. This one says hug me. And the little gray one, what does he say? Be mine. Be mine. These are so cute. Look at it. It's oh, so and cute. they're embroidered onto your little puppy. There was one more, and we probably should have got that one too. What color was it? It was beige? It was, yeah, it was like... Beige and... Or, no. Yeah, it was beige and pink. Yeah. But very, very cute. Okay, let's get into the haul of the junk. And this was, including this stuff, the biggest haul that we've ever done at Dollar Tree. Yeah. I think we probably spent maybe 60, $60 or yeah, $60. Yeah. $60. We broke our record. Yeah. Our record, I believe was 50. Yeah. So, okay. Well, let's get that set up and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I hope you prepared yourself to see all of this junk. This stuff is being sent to Australia. So they shouldn't have any of this stuff as far as we know. But if you're from Australia and you know that you have some of this stuff, let me know in the comments below. So are you ready to get started? Yeah. So we got the green giant green beans. This is a 14.5 ounce can, and these are regular cut green beans. The Del Monte corn, this is just your whole kernel corn, not your sweet corn, 15.25 ounces. Chef Boyardee, this is our favorite kind of Chef Boyardee. I know they have like beefaroni and some other ones, but we like the mini raviolis. We thought this would be pretty fun. The Cheetos mac and cheese. I don't know if they have them, but you know. They may or may not have them out there. They're the spiral ones. It's still fun. It's just a weird thing. The Takis meat stick. Let's see. Let's go with the chips. We got two packages of chips. I have a feeling only one package is going to make it inside the box. No, yeah, one of them is for me. One bag of mini Milky Ways. This little bag is 2.64 ounces. Let's see how many come in here. There's about eight pieces in here. Yeah. And this one has 14 pieces of Hershey Kisses. We picked up some black licorice. I personally do not like licorice. I have black, red, flavored colored the kind of li licorice with the stuff on the inside no it's gross it's yeah not a fan airheads. five bars of airheads in this one package the strawberry is bad though. a box of whoppers this is a five ounce box there's about 4.5 servings or if you're watching a movie one serving Two boxes of Jello. So we have the chocolate pudding and the orange Jello. We also got two containers of the goldfish, the colored rainbow ones, and the regular cheddar. Casey says they're different. Uh, yeah, the colored ones are better. I think they taste the same. Okay. I am no expert in goldfish crackers, though. The Warhead Hard Candies. Bro, I, did, I think they have those, but, um, you know. Chips Ahoy Original Chocolate Chip Cookies. What does that say? There's 10 cookies in there? 
It says about three servings, so I don't know. That's probably like two. Nutter Butters, there's eight cookies in here. These are one of my favorite cookies. The Nutter Butters? Yeah. It's peanut butter sandwich cookies. These ones are circle, but they're usually like the shape of a peanut. The three pack of Cheez-Its. Each individual pack is a serving size, 0.75 ounces. The three pack of Cracker Jacks, they do come with the prize in the box and it's the little stickers. It's still cute. I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I wanted these ones. Yeah, you can pick those out. You're like, we should get down to soft serve. Oh, Do, have they those soft baked cookies? I don't even know if they have them or not. Well, but, they're getting these. Yeah. You're like, they need these. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, are they you... need those in their life. Okay, okay. The six pack of Baby Ruth. Now, we did have an option of getting the small little mini ones of these, but why not get the bigger size? Same price, dollar twenty-five. Laffy Taffy. Mm -hmm. And there's jokes on every wrapper. Is it really? Yeah, it says it right there. <laughs> it does. Jokes on every wrapper. I had no idea. You can learn something new every day. A bag of Tootsie Rolls. The Reese's pretzels. Oh, we didn't give them the potato chips? No, they didn't have the potato chips. Didn't they have the potato chips off the other one? No. So, okay. They only have pretzels. Reese's with pretzels. Okay, fun dip. Who doesn't like fun dip? Pure sugar. Yeah, it's just sugar that you put on a stick. It. Fruity pebbles. And cocoa and, pebbles. And cocoa pebbles. That's pretty see. So far away. Maybe they've never seen cocoa pebbles before. So there is two servings per little container of these. I haven't had these in a long time. I hope they're gonna like them. And they're gluten free. That's right, gluten free. A little container of Lucky Charms. It's one serving size. Nail stuff. It's not glue, but it's just a present for them overseas. Let them see the, the colors. Oh. Whoa, this, that's a little too close. Yep, so it's a black one. And then I got this matte, kind of reddish, pink. That's a burgundy. And I got this shiny one because I thought it looked cool. And then I got this blue one. And then nail glue. And these are things that you have used before? Yeah. They're really easy. You just brush this on your nail. And then put that on it. And then you're good. Okay. And then we got some Dollar Tree stuff for just us. Oh, yeah. Because we needed to stock up on stuff. This. So the makeup wipes, this has witch hazel in it. They didn't have my pink ones. Yeah, we usually buy the pink ones of these, but these do work really well. Q tips. There's 200 in this little container. I actually, I like these little containers. I put the floss picks in an empty one and keep it in my drawer in my bathroom. It works. Okay. Oh yeah, so I got floss too. We keep these everywhere. And two of these I don't even know what do you call they're these? They're scout massagers. No, they're shampoo, shampoo brushes. brushes. So you use these when you're taking a shower and washing your hair. So that way, you know, you get that good lather back there. You don't end up with so much dandruff. These feel really, really nice. So yeah, we got two. Yep. Now, okay. So for her friend that lives in Australia, we could not find everything on the list at the Dollar Tree. So we went ahead and we went to Albertsons and Stater Brothers and Stater Brothers to get the rest of the stuff on the list. I don't know no. which, which, but you know. We're just going to go through both stores at once. We just kind of combined it all together. So, okay. all right. So we got some Kool-Aid packets. 
We of course had to get blue Kool-Aid. The blue raspberry is and, my favorite. And then tropical punch and then watermelon and then cherry and then orange. I don't care what anybody says. I grew up on Kool-Aid. The kids grew up on Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is the best. Jolly Ranchers. It's apparently they don't have Jolly Ranchers. I remember walking down to the store down the street from my house when I was growing up, and those were 10 cents each. Like a bag or for one? For one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was good. It was worth the walk down to, to oh. the store to get one. These ones. Oh, these fruit roll-ups. These, yeah, fruit rolls. They're interesting. They're definitely old. You know, I believe the Dollar Tree actually does have a small package of fruit roll-ups, but they're different there. They're kind of like in that... They're not this... What is this, a feather? It's in a, like a little <laughs> roll. I have birds. <laughs> we find random feathers here. And then so we have Jelly Bellies. And what kind of flavors are in those? A bunch of gross flavors. No, this is a kid's pack, so it's supposed to be the better flavors. Like... Toasted marshmallow, tutti frutti, watermelon, apple, sour cherry, a lemon, cotton candy, bubble gum, and buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn does not taste good. I've had and the butter popcorn before. pudding. So that'll be interesting for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, a regular sized bag of the Cheddar Sun Chips. Yes. They had given her a bag of chips that is very similar to those. Yeah, it tastes the same, just the chips are thicker. Yeah. But the flavors are the same. Oh! Hamburger Helper. Because it's so good. Yeah. Oh, we like Hamburger Helper too. And this is one of our favorites. That specific one. The yeah. poor cheese lasagna with real cheese. Mm hmm. What? Did you forget a cookie? Okay, so we have black cherry Kool-Aid too. We got cheese butter crackers. Tell me why Dollar Tree has these every single time we go, except for this time. Yeah. So we picked that up at Stater Brothers. For like three dollars. So we went to Albertsons too, and they didn't have it. We went to a different Dollar Tree, they didn't have it. Stater Brothers, they were there for the win. And then the Holy Grail, Scooby Snacks. They're graham crackers. Shaped as dog biscuits. They're shaped as Scooby Snacks. Dog biscuits. He's a dog. Yeah, but they're named Scooby Snacks. Oh my goodness. And then Jif peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah, you never can go wrong with some peanut butter. I, I'm sure that they have peanut butter there, but. Yeah, but it's not American. I'm not cutting that out. Okay, and then we got more Reese's. We got the sticks. And then the take fives. And then the two of the Reese's with Reese's Puff cereal in them. Yes. And if you guys haven't watched any of our Dollar Tree videos before, we almost always get a new flavor of Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and today is going to be this Reese's Puffs, and yes. we are going to try it right now. We in front of are going to eat one, and then this one's going to the buck bread. So this is the big cup. Are you going to cut it with a knife? I got a knife to cut it with. You can get deep on his eyes. <laughs> We're having a knife. They're not even monetized yet. <laughs> they're, they're gonna kick me off YouTube. <laughs> okay. If I get kicked off YouTube, you guys, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. No, guys, it's a prop. It's a prop. It's not a real knife. It's a, just a prop. So this is what it looks like. You can't really see them, and I don't know. It's probably because I cut it. Can you see yours better? Yes. No. Okay. I need it. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. But, but a little crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't really taste the Reese's Pots. Just the texture. Yeah, it's just the texture. And it's still good. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us and going over a haul with us. We are going to show you everything we got right here at the end. Along with all the chocolate in my teeth. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> thank you for tuning in and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We like to do these Dollar Tree videos all the time. So, we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, Yoma. -bye.